fifth big danger is passing out in the bathroom. Has anyone here ever passed out in the bathroom? Come close. Yeah, I've kind of started to gray out a little bit. And, you get and one reason you can pass out is just if you're taking a really hot shower, mm -hmm. your blood vessels dilate, lower blood pressure to your brain. But straining on the toilet can lead people to pass out. I've seen this quite often. And I'm going to show you an animation. This is one of the funnier animations I've seen, strictly because this guy's face cracks me up. <laughs> but this gentleman is straining. He's sitting. And when you strain, a lot of different things are happening. You're increasing your intrathoracic pressure in your chest. The diaphragm is pushing down, trying to get all the contents out of your colon. And what's going on here is you're actually stimulating not only your vagus nerve, but you're preventing blood flow back to your heart. So there's a sudden drop in blood pressure. Your parasympathetic nervous system takes over. So there's low blood pressure to your brain, and your heart rate drops. And all at once, you can pass out if you strain too much. That's why it's so very important when you... Poor guy. <laughs> and it's funny to watch that, but it happens. Believe me, it happens. And so remember, overstraining on the toilet is bad for you. And we're gonna talk later about how it can increase your risk for hemorrhoids. Mm -hmm. And if you're straining that hard to have bowel movements, you gotta take a hard, fast look at your oh, yeah. diet. Because yeah. if you're that constipated, you really, you can pass right. out, like I said, the hemorrhoids before, you can have anal fissures where you literally tear the yeah. tissues around your anus. Not good.